Hello, viewers and dear children. Welcome back to the second class of Class 7, Chapter 3, Data Handling. We will continue where we have left off in the previous class. That was exercise 3.1. We left off at 3.1, so we will continue with the question, question number 5. If you can kindly turn with me to exercise 3.1, question number 5. Let's read the question together. The question reads, following table, the table I've already drawn here, following table shows the points of each player scored in four games. That means each player has played four games and they have scored different uh, scores. Now, looking at this table, we are going to answer a few questions that they have asked us below. Now, the first one, now answer the following questions. One, find the mean to determine ace average number of points scored per game. As already uh, learned in the last class, uh, average simply means arithmetic mean or simply mean. So we already know the arithmetic mean is also called as average or mean. The formula for this is we're going to find for A. So, arithmetic mean of A. Right. Arithmetic mean of A is nothing but sum of observations. Now, look at A. Let's write down the formula first. Sum of observations by number of observations. Now, the sum of observations of A. Let's look at A. A scored 14 in the first game, 16 in the second game, 10 in the third, and 10 in the fourth. So we're going to add them all together. 14 plus 16 plus 10 plus 10. And number of observations are 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we're going to divide by 4. So when you add them 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, we get 50 by 4. So we can further cancel it out. 2 into 2 is 4. 2 into 25, 2, 2, 2, 5, yeah, 50. So 2, this we're going to again write it as 25 by 2. Now we can further divide and bring it down. 2 divide 25. 2 into 1 is 2. When you subtract 2 and 2, you get 0. The next number, 5, will come down. So 2 into 2 is 4. We get remainder 1. 1 cannot be divided, so we're going to put point and a 0. A decimal point will put 0 here. So 2 into 5 is 10. So in the final answer, we're getting 12.5. So this is the average or the arithmetic mean of 12, uh, sorry, A, which is 12.5. The first part of the question is over. Let's look at the second part. Now, the second part, it is stated, to find the mean number of points per game for C, would you divide the total points by 3 or by 4, and why? Now, they are simply asking us, for C, when you find the mean, are you going to divide it by 3 or by 4? So we simply, we will look here, we will look at the table. We can see that in game 1, C scored 8. In game 2, C scored 11. In game 3, C did not play. That means C was not involved in this game. And finally, game 4, C played, uh, scored 13. So we have 1, two and three observations. So we are going to divide only by, divide by, sorry. we will divide by three because the total observations are only three. One, two and three. In one game, C did not play. And the other part of the question, why? Why is because as already stated, because C played only three games. We can already see in the table, so three games. Let's look at the next question. 
Question three. B played in all the four games. How would you find the mean? So this is the same as A. Now arithmetic mean of B or average of B or mean of B. We can write it as B. We have 0 plus 8 plus 6 plus 4 by there are four observations. So we'll divide by 4. Okay, if we add, we get 18 by 4. 2 into 2 is 4. 2 into 9 is 18. Again, we can't cancel anymore, so we'll write it as 9 by 2. We divide 9 by 2. 2 into 4 is 8, 1. We cannot go further, so we put a decimal point, bring down 0. 2 into 5 is 10. So your final answer is 4.5. The average or the arithmetic mean of B is 4.5. Now the final question, who is the best performer? If you look at this table, you can easily understand. Now we also have, uh, but instead of doing that, let's first find the average of C. Average of C or arithmetic mean of C. So we have 8 plus 11 plus 13 divided by 3 because only 3 observations. So when you add 11, 24, we get 32 by 3. So when you divide 2, it's going to go on 1.666, it's gone like that. So we will write it as 1.6. Now if you Compare the averages of A, B, and C. A, we got 12.5. So A, we got 12.5. B, we got 4.5. And C, we got 1.6. We can understand easily understand that A is the best performer. So therefore, A is the best performer. I hope this is clear. Now we'll be discussing a few concepts, uh, two more concepts uh, which we'll be discussing. They are very simple and easy to understand. The first concept that we will be discussing is mode. Here in data handling, mode means simply means finding the highest frequency. As already explained, frequency means number of repetitions, number of times a certain data is repeating. All right. So for example, uh, let's take an example of uh, some observations. For example, we have 1, 3, 4, 2, 4, 5, 4, 3, 6. Now here, mode simply means finding the highest frequency, the number of times a particular data is repeating, the highest number. Right, so to find mode, when we have a data like this, it is always better for you, for us, to arrange these data in ascending or descending order first. So we will arrange them in ascending order. One, then we have two, then we have two trees, so three, three. We have one, two, three, three, four. And then we have one, five. We have one, six. Now, after we have arranged them in ascending order, we can easily find mode. <coughs> mode is the highest frequency. We have to find the highest frequency. So by looking at this data, we can see that four is repeating three times. So your mode is nothing but four. I hope this is clear. The, number <clears throat> the highest number of frequency, that means highest number of repeating data. All right. So here we see that four is repeating three times. The others, uh, three is repeating two times. But since four is repeating three times, your mode will be four. I hope this is clear. Now we will move on to the next concept. The next concept is median.
Please do not confuse this with mean. Mean is M-E-A-N, median is M-E-D-I-A-N. Now, median, simply put, it means the middle value. Finding the middle value. All right. Now, when we find the middle value, uh, when we talk about middle value, let's say there are some observations given here. 7, 2, 3, 4, 1. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's say there are five data given here, five observations. Now, when we talk about me, median, we're going to find the middle value. But before that, just as we did in mode, we will arrange these in ascending order. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 7. Now, this is in ascending order. So we can see that the mid value of this observation is 3. To this side, to that side. Or there is another way which, through which we can find the mid value. There is a formula n plus 1 by 2. Now please mind it, this formula will be used only if there are odd numbers of observation. Odd numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 is an odd number, so we can use this formula. All right. So to find the mid value, we'll, in place of n, we'll put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So since 5 is n, we'll put like this. 5 plus 1 by 2. It's nothing but 6 by 2. When you divide, you get 3. This does not mean, this is not the answer, okay? This is the place. That means we have to count now. We got 3, so we have to count 1, 2, 3. And coincidentally, in place of 3, there's 3. So your answer is, therefore, median is 3. It would have been a different answer if it... In place of 3, it was 4, the answer would be 4, right? This has nothing to do with the answer. I mean, we are not writing 3 because we are getting 3 here. But we are taking this as the number of places. 1, 2, 3. So coincidentally, like we said, I said, okay, uh, in place of 3, we have 3. So your answer is 3. I hope this is clear. Median simply means the middle value. If the number of observations is odd, please use this formula to find it easily. There may be some cases where a lot of data is given, it will be difficult for you to count everything, so you can directly find the mid value using these four odd number of data. Even number of data, you cannot use this. I hope this is clear. Now, to understand all this better, let's do a few exercises. Please turn to exercise 3.2. The questions are rather simple, so we will solve them together. Let's read the questions together. Now, the first question. The scores in mathematics test bracket out of 25 bracket close of 15 students is as follows. They have given us a certain number of data. Let me write it down. 19, 25, 23, 29, 20, 15, 10, 5, 16, 25, 20, 24, 12, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. Now, <clears throat> we have already learned that to find mode, we have to arrange these numbers in ascending or descending. So we will arrange them in ascending order. That means starting from the smallest number. Smallest number here is 5. So 5. Next is 5, then 9, then 10. After 10, we have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 
we have to find the number of, the highest number of data that is repeating. That means 20 is the highest, sorry, 20 is the data that is repeating the highest. So 20 is repeating four times. So this is nothing but your mode. That means 20 is repeating four times. There's no other data that is repeating as much as 20. So we will take the mode as 20. Your answer will be 20. When you talk about mean, now mean for mean, the number of data, if it is odd, we can use a particular formula. Here we have 15 data. So to find this, we're going to use this formula, n plus 1 by 2, where n is nothing but we have here as 15. That means number of data. So we're going to put in place of n, 15 plus 1 by 2. 15 plus 1 is 16 by 2. So when you cancel, you get 8. So your mid middle value will be at 8th place. That means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That means this is your mid value. So at the place of 8, we're getting 20. So your answer will become 20. And finally, they have asked us, are they same? Are the mode and mid same? 20, 20. So you can write, Yes, they are same. That means both mode and mean are same. So we will continue with the rest of the topics in the next class. This is all about uh, mode, which is nothing but the highest frequency, which means the data should be, uh, we will try to find the data which is repeating the maximum number of times, the highest number of times. And we have also learned about median. Median means finding the mid value of the data given. So I hope you have all learned something from this. I hope to see you in the next class. So please stay safe and take care. See you very soon.